welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, being saved is a blessing. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I call not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 12 through to 14. We are blessed to be a part of the church of the living God. This is a glorious church. It is glorious because Christ is sanctifying and cleansing us with the word of God. He has clothed us with the beautiful garment of salvation. He has arrayed us with the white robe of righteousness. The church is the fullness of God and is baptized with the love of God, a love marked by giving, not getting. Christ's loves make the church complete. His words suggest her beauty. Everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of the church. Do you understand that we are just too blessed to be stressed? <laughs> you might be looking at things now and saying, that's so 2019. Well, let me tell you, 2020 can dictate how blessed I am. There's too much joy in Jesus for any of us to ever get truly depressed. There's too much peace in the Holy Ghost for you to be fretting about your health or about wealth. There are so many exceeding great and precious promises God has given his people that we need never to be cast down. Never fear what the future may hold and never feel as though we cannot make it to the other side of glory. If you ever feel down, remember God has never failed. He has never lost a battle and he's the same yesterday, today and forever. He warned us we'll have tribulation in this world but quickly adds, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. You're in a church that is built upon a sure foundation. Isaiah 28 verse 16 says, Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. When you are born again of the water and of the spirit, your name is entered into the Lamb's book of life. Child of God, every day being saved is a blessed day. Some of us are so blessed, but we are looking in the wrong direction. Let me just share a story with you. I started to feed some birds at the back of my house. Now there was a certain spot that I would feed them. But for their own safety, I removed the container from ground level. And I took my time and nailed the container all the way up in the tree. Now this will ensure that they are protected as long as they're in the tree. They don't have to come down to the ground. But I noticed that the birds kept coming down and going to the same place, digging through rubble for food, trying to find something to eat. All of their heads were looking down to the ground. But if they had just looked up, they would have seen the container that is prepared with all that food they would need. Some of us are looking down to the ground, but we need to look to the hills from whence come our help. Your blessing is right here, but you just need to look up. The thought of the day, the church of God is built on a sure foundation. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, Promise keeper, light in the darkness.